After months of review and public input, President Trump will now decide if any changes will be made to two of Utah's national monuments. Political specialist Lad Egan's live in the newsroom tonight with why some are complaining of the, well, there was too much secrecy in the process, Lad. Yeah, Dave, that's because we know that President Trump has received these recommendations from Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke and that those do include boundary changes to just a handful of monuments, but the administration isn't releasing any more details, causing threats of lawsuits today from environmental agencies. Today we are putting the states back in charge. Four months ago, President Donald Trump specifically mentioned Utah's newest national monument. Over 1.35 million acres of land in Utah, known as Bears Ears. I've heard a lot about Bears Ears, and I hear it's beautiful. His executive order called for a quick review of about two dozen monuments, questioning how they were created. It's time we ended this abusive practice. Since then, Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke says he's held more than 60 meetings, visited some of the controversial areas, including Grand Staircase and Bears Ears, and has submitted his recommendations to the president. This will be good for our state. Those in the know, like Congressman Chris Stewart, say that even if changes are made and monuments adjusted, the lands will still be protected. There really is a balance that we could achieve, and I think the President and uh, Secretary Zinke are striving for that balance. The frustration is that Zinke's ideas are so foolish and short-sighted. Meantime, the Southern Utah Wilderness Alliance says any boundary changes will be met with a large legal challenge and that the law would be on their side. This is all about political favors. There's no scientific, there's no environmental, there's no legal reason to attack these monuments. One option that has been ruled out, we know that what the president is reviewing does not call for any monuments to be eliminated completely. Zinke said that his office had received a lot of public comments, and Dave, they say those were overwhelmingly in support of maintaining the existing monuments. All right, we'll wait for his word. Lad Egan in the newsroom. Thanks, Lad. Well,